What's up travelers? In this video, we're gonna go to Castle Sant'Angelo, which was originally Hadrian's mausoleum. So stick around, check it out. There are definitely going to be multiple parts of this video, so make sure to watch out for the extra parts after we finish this video. Welcome to Castle Sant'Angelo, the castle of the Holy Angel, as it is now known today. Originally, this was built by Hadrian to be his mausoleum and his family's mausoleum as well. So that's where we're at. You know, as you know, Hadrian, he has built so many things that have just lasted that they're still in use today, like the Pantheon. Uh, Hadrian's Arch, Hadrian's Wall up in Britain, just all kinds of stuff around. This is his mausoleum and we're gonna go check it out. So the church gets its name from a legend from 590 AD when Pope Gregory the Great said that he had a vision of the Archangel Michael showing up over the top of the building as an image to mark the end of the Great Plague, well the Black Plague, that's how it got its name, Castle Sant'Angelo.
this is the atrium to the entrance of Hadrian's mausoleum. So right behind me there used to be a colossal statue of Hadrian. This is also the place where Hadrian's funeral procession entered into the building to take his ashes up to the urn room, which we're going to take the spiral staircase to go find. the original mosaic floor that was here. Down here we have some of the original staircase from that mausoleum back in Hadrian's time. The mosaic was put in by the Catholics. And this is where the water used to get down. We are now in the urn room. This is the center of Hadrian's mausoleum. This is where the remains of Hadrian and his family, all the all the emperors of of Rome, up through Caracara, were were laid to rest. So this is the courtyard of the papal apartments. Back in medieval times, all the popes used to come here and have their apartments furnished with all the amenities of a true castle. They would come here whenever they had to flee the Vatican and they'd also just spend a lot of time here anyway. Standing behind me right now is the original statue of the Archangel Michael done by Raffaello and it used to stand on the top of the entire castle until I believe in the 1700s when a bronze cast done by a different artist was put in. It may have been the 1600s. I can't really remember. That's the original.
This room was originally the nucleus of uh, Hadrian's mausoleum, and then the church ended up turning it into like a courtroom where they would hold trials for people who committed crimes against the Pope or the church. And that's why that picture of Archangel Michael is right there behind me. In 1527, Pope Clement VII Medici had to flee the Vatican and come here. And he had to spend seven months here for safety reasons. Emperor Charles V ravaged everything in the area. <laughs> Well, this is going to be the end of part one of the Castle Sant'Angelo tour. Stick around for part two.